Fiestas aren't all that uncommon. They exist all over the world, especially in warmer seasons. But in Galicia, well, they take their fun seriously. And pretty much every day, from earliest spring until well into autumn, you can find a fiesta or several fiestas somewhere in Galicia. When we decided to try to capture the spirit of Galician fiestas, there were so many that we were completely overwhelmed and we didn't know where to begin. So we decided to take a week and just go each day to the first fiesta that we could find within 50 kilometers of our house. We weren't looking for the biggest or the most famous, just typical Galician fiestas. And what a week it was. We're here in the village of Arca in Opino in Galicia, Spain, at the Festo do Galo Pinero y Mostra Cabala. But what is a Galo Pinero y Mostra Cabala? Owls aren't the main bird star of this fiesta. That would be the Galo Pinero a Galician breed of chicken that was almost lost, but is now being carefully restored. Galicians don't need too much of a reason to have a party. And showing off some of the finest examples of this resurrected native breed is more than enough. But at this fiesta, the Galo Piñero must share the fiesta spotlight with the Mostra Cabalar, which is Gallego for horse show. Spaniards who are responsible for introducing modern horses to North America back in the 15th century are renowned for their horsemanship. And that was on full display at this Mostra Cabalar. The horse show over and the prizes awarded, we wandered through the streets to see what else was happening at this particular fiesta. And that's when we met Francisco and his birds. Fran spends his summers traveling around Galicia with his falcons and other birds of prey. We're back home again, but not for long. There's a whole other part of this fiesta, so we're taking advantage of siesta to play with Hazel and rest up for tonight. Back in Arca, the beautiful and elegant Ruth Kundins has taken the stage because no fiesta is complete without music and dancing. The DJs take over. We thought we'd go a little further out into the countryside. Destination, Bios. We're on night two of our seven nights of fiestas here in Galicia, Spain. And it's a Monday night, so Jones and I drove for about 45 minutes on some windy rural roads, and we've ended up in the little town of Bios and they're having a fiesta tonight. So we're gonna find out how the people in Bios like to party. And they're still setting up right now, but let's take a look around. They're preparing a feast, and it's making me think there are gonna be a few people here. 
One of the cooks told me that they're preparing 500 kilograms of churrasco, which is Spanish barbecue. That's over 1,100 pounds. And man, it is tasty. Don't forget the bread and wine. So good. Now that everyone is well fed, it's time for drinks and dancing. Long into the night. Bios has a population of 227. But everyone invites their friends and families, and small town fiestas can grow into major regional events. further south to Bedra for night three. Bedra is starting things off in this beautiful setting with traditional Galician music. There's traditional food to go with this traditional Galician music. Churrasco, of course, but also pulpo a feira, maybe the most famous of Galician foods. The boiled octopus tentacles are cut into little bite-sized pieces, topped with olive oil and paprika, and eaten from wooden plates with a toothpick. There are games and rides for kids, too. This is only night one of a three-night fiesta. Nights two and three will feature pop bands on a huge stage, and the streets will be filled with people. This next fiesta is very special to us because it's on our home turf. Pastor is our little church parish, population 134. Festivities start with the Mass and procession honoring St. Lorenzo, one of the patrons of our local church. 
Fireworks and bells echo through the neighborhood. It hasn't rained in weeks, but while the band was setting up, a shower passes through. Everyone hopes it's short-lived, but nobody will skip the party, even if it's pouring rain. There are two music sessions at Galician Fiestas. The earlier is called the Session Vermouth, which means vermouth session, and it's named after the drink, vermouth, which is normally served in the afternoon. And the night event is the session verbena, or verbena session. Here we are in the afternoon, and after, everyone will go home to eat dinner and then come back around 11 p.m. for the late party. The celebration often continues at home with all the friends and family who are in town for the fiesta. Verbena flowers bloom during fiesta season. In the past, it was traditional for men attending the nighttime concerts to wear verbena blossoms in their lapels. That ritual has been mostly abandoned, but the name has stayed on. This is Judith Kundins, the sister of Ruth, who we saw earlier in the week in Arca. You would think that people would sleep late the morning after a fiesta, but no, the party isn't over yet. At 10 a.m., the Charangas walk through the village going door to door to remind everyone that the fiesta is not over yet. By 11 a.m., they're at our door. This is our fourth night in a row of fiestas, and we know we have a late night ahead of us, so we make good use of the siesta. Everyone shows up for the Session Verbena, young and old. Fireworks punctuate the night. Lovely. Yeah. 
We leave a little before 2 a.m. Hey, what's going on? Come here, you won't believe this. They're still out there. It's almost four in the morning. It's Galicia. place of exquisite beauty where where history takes its place alongside the present in a way where it cannot be ignored. There seems to be a constant subliminal understanding built into this culture that we're just passing through and that the pain, like the rain, that all people must endure as they journey through life must be balanced with intentional moments of joy and laughter and companionship. And the Galicians, they're masters at creating those moments. It's the Trout Festival and Sobrado dos Monches, Sobrado for short, and it starts with a race. The monastery at Sobrado was originally founded in the year 952, but the present church was built at the end of the 17th century. Not a bad place to cross the finish line. After the race, we saw a lot of runners eating big meals in the local restaurants, so we joined in. And afterwards, we danced.
We had to conserve a little energy because this fiesta continues tomorrow. Back in Sobrato, we start with traditional music. Then a feast. It is the mountain trout fiesta, so naturally everyone is enjoying the fresh fish. This is the Polbo Escapista, an octopus who has escaped the cooking pot. We're here in Sobrato just outside of the um, monastery for the 21st Feira da Troita. Feira da Troita. Bom dia, Sobrado. Bem-vindos à Feira da Troita. E hoje temos o prazer de... All right, go ahead, go ahead. We're here at the 21st Feira da Troita. Si me oyes por ahí al fondo, que me han dicho que tengo... Quick. Quick. Okay, we're here in Sobrato, just bueno, outside pues the... Voy a empezar mi... Mi... Go for it. Bueno, muchas gracias. We're here in Sobrato at the 21st annual Feira da Troita, Sobrato, just outside the monastery. Beautiful day here in Sobrato, and the people are celebrating trout. Some families have brought their dishes and glasses and are having a feast with trout and fruco and empanada, and uh, it's a wonderful day. 70 Okay, the week is over, but there are many more fiestas yet to come. Just give us one night to recover. Four minutes away. Left there are cows in the road. Oh. What did I tell you? The same guy we passed before. I don't think so. Hey, lady, you're missing your turn. Okay. <laughs> 